Ray De Leon from 10th Planet New York against Patrick Gattabutton from Chicago MMA. Um, this should be a really fun lightweight black belt matchup. Um, two very skilled explosive grapplers. Ray is the head coach from 10th Planet New York and Patrick is with a coach over at Chicago MMA under Misha Seiko and Alex Ratchek. Um, both very well skilled grapplers familiar with EBI overtimes as well as uh, submission in the attacks. Patrick, I know, has fought for Midwest finishers before super fights, and obviously, Ray being a 10th Planet guy, he is familiar with DBI rules as well. Patrick, a very familiar face to the local competitive scene here in Chicago. Yeah. Known for great leg locks, guillotines. All right, for our co main event, we have Ray De Leon representing 10th Planet New York City versus Patrick Gadlington out of Chicago MMA. This should be a high-paced matchup. These guys are at 135, so there's going to be uh, no lack of speed between these two. I won't be surprised to see a double guard pull right off the bat here, or if somebody opting to pull guard first. Let's see how it plays out. Okay. Ray so sits right away. They're sitting right away. Patrick seemed to be okay with that. Immediately trying to... Feed his leg over, trying to hunt maybe across Ashi, preferring to reverse De La Hiva, trying to invert under for Kiss of the Dragon, fails. Patrick, just good solid base, not letting Ray get all fully underneath. Ray's got him slightly elevated. Patrick with a nice post by the head to prevent. Nice, good long step here to try to avoid the leg entanglement. Again, opting for that reverse De La Hiva. Now switching. Patrick trying to get that inside position. Oh, beautiful Ray cross Andrew. Ashi entry. Oh, beautiful. It was good recognition from Patrick to immediately clear his knee line from that. Yeah, I thought that was tight, and he was yeah, out of it. Yeah, he was uh, out of it second. instantly. Very really, well really done. Good exchange by both competitors. Patrick's clearly well schooled in the leg lock game, training with Alex Retschick, a, a very high level leg locker from the Chicago land area. Now let's see Ray on top a little bit. We'll see if his top game is as aggressive as his bottom game and the leg lock entries are. Ray looking to be the slightly longer, bigger competitor than Patrick. Patrick had a nice two-on-one and was trying to arm drag through. He was spinning right through, trying to get a leg entanglement. Nothing comes of it. Got both guys in a seated guard position here. Patrick elects to take the top position again, entering the knee slide. They're kind of just teeter-tottering who's on top and who's on bottom. Neither guy seems to have a preference. They both look good, both spots. Pretty common to see at this weight class. Um, this weight class, you see a lot of a lot of guard playing, a lot of double guard pulls. Expect to see a lot of leg entanglements. Ray going for a little uh, butterfly sweep position, was not able to Eight get minutes. it. So two minutes under so far here. And we've seen... No lack of action so far, as expected from two 135ers. Good job hiding the leg there by Patrick. Ray trying to invert to get a leg entanglement, teeter tottering, getting on top. Patrick, Patrick for guillotine. elects to play the bottom position here. Both guys playing pretty similar top and bottom games. Um, Ray really seemed to try to close the distance here, maybe try to flatten him out here from half guard, but Patrick's got that knee shield, playing that Z guard, gonna make it hard for him to close the distance. Tries to do a little John Wayne to off balance him a little bit. And now we're teeter tottering back, now we got Patrick on top, inverting here. Ray getting a little bit of a bite in the leg. Try, trying to come up into a leg drag, Patrick realizes that. Now we're back neutral here. Patrick getting that shin to shin connection here. Oh, and we got a buzzsaw knee slide straight through. This is the first real dominant position or movement of the fight. Let's see if Ray can keep it here. Obviously, side control so sometimes be a little bit more limiting in uh, Nogi um, without the gi grips to tie your opponent up. Ray's going to look to go slow, and it looks like he's going or knee ride to try to step them out. Patrick does look relaxed there. This is Patrick's first match at Black Belt. He got his Black Belt about two weeks ago, so this is his debut, fighting a, a very seasoned competitor. Um, 
We've got good control here on top. He's got a good cross face, which is not allowing Patrick to turn into him to try to get his frames, try to get his knees back in the middle, recover his guard. Doesn't look like a ton of a ton of attacks coming here um, from Ray. It looks like more of just trying to ride him out, trying to control him here, trying to wait for his opportunity here to launch an attack. Bringing his knee up across, maybe electing to try to get to that mount. Yeah, Patrick just keeping those elbows tight to the body, trying to not give Ray any space to dig inside and get underhooks. And as I say that, Ray gets inside, and then Patrick's able to escape out back. Just goes to show, I mean, especially Nogi, you know, these small weight classes, you give a guy any kind of breathing room, and then they just get their guard back. And immediately, knee sliding again, Patrick not as keen about just giving up the bottom side control position, trying to turn into him here, and trying nice to get way. towards the back. Has an arm isolated, climbs into a triangle, the triangle. Right into a triangle. Beautiful by Ray. Patrick is not in a good spot here. Patrick try, trying to get his feet back in, but ends up in a mounted triangle position. This is not where Patrick wants to be. Not where Patrick wants to be at all. Five and, minutes. And Patrick desperately trying, trying to work his way back on the top position. Ray pulling down on the head here. This looks so like it could be over. Patrick's trying to clear the yeah, feet. Yeah, desperately trying to attack. There's the submission. Ray DeLeon with the beautiful triangle and transition yeah. to get the tap. 